A1 Movers 4, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge Assessment English 2022. This recording is copyright. Test 1. Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English A1 Movers Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you like this photo, Mom? I took it in the park. It's great. Who's that boy? The one who's hopping. The one in the blue sweater? That's Jack. Oh, and I love those two penguins. Yes, they're my favorite animals. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Is that one of your friends? The girl that's standing with the bike? Yes. Her name's Julia. She had some bread for those ducks in her bag. Do you mean the one that's on her back? Yes. Two. And there's Fred. Look. Which boy is he? The one who's skipping. He's really good at that. His hair's very curly. I know. It's like mine. Three. One of the girls is doing her homework. The one in the glasses, who's sitting on the ground near the water? Yes, she's called Sally. That's a pretty name. Four. And who's that? The boy in the shorts. That's Peter. He got that skateboard for his birthday. He looks really happy. Well, he's doing his favorite thing. Ha <laughs> ha. Five. You can see Daisy here, too. Where's she? She's sitting on the grass. She's having a picnic. Oh, yes. I can see her now. Who is she with? Her older brother, but I don't know his name. Well, it's a great picture. Thanks. Now listen to part one again. One. Is that one of your friends? The girl that's standing with the bike? Yes. Her name's Julia. She had some bread for those ducks in her bag. Do you mean the one that's on her back? Yes. Two. And there's Fred. Look. Which boy is he? The one who's skipping. He's really good at that. His hair's very curly. I know. It's like mine. Three. One of the girls is doing her homework. The one in the glasses, who's sitting on the ground near the water? Yes, she's called Sally. That's a pretty name. Four. And who's that? The boy in the shorts. That's Peter. He got that skateboard for his birthday. He looks really happy. Well, he's doing his favorite thing. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Five. You can see Daisy here too. Where's she? She's sitting on the grass. She's having a picnic. Oh yes, I can see her now. Who is she with? Her older brother, but I don't know his name. Well, it's a great picture. Thanks. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. There's a new toy shop near our house, Grandpa. Is there, Lily? What's the name of the shop? It's called the Game Store. The Game Store. Oh. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Where is this new shop then? It's in Jaker Street. Do you spell Jaker, J, A, K, E, R? Yes, that's right. Two. And is this new shop open every day, Lily? Not every day. It isn't open on Tuesdays. Why isn't it open on Tuesdays? I don't know, Grandpa. Sorry. Three. Mum and I went to the new shop yesterday. Did you? What did you buy there, Lily? We got a toy for Mum's friend's baby. A teddy bear? No, a clown. A clown? Brilliant! Four. I'd like to see that shop too. Would you like to go there with me this afternoon? Great. When does the shop close? It closes at five o'clock. I think that's right. No, sorry, at six o'clock. Six o'clock. All right. Five. Is it easy to find? What colour is the building? It's white. It's a tall white building. Okay. Come to our house first, Grandpa, and then I can help you find it. Good idea. Now listen to part two again. One. Where is this new shop then? It's in Jaker Street. Do you spell Jaker, J, A, K, E, R? Yes, that's right. Two. And is this new shop open every day, Lily? Not every day. It isn't open on Tuesdays. Why isn't it open on Tuesdays? I don't know, Grandpa. Sorry. Three. Mum and I went to the new shop yesterday. Did you? What did you buy there, Lily? We got a toy for Mum's friend's baby. A teddy bear? No, a clown. A clown? Brilliant! Four. I'd like to see that shop too. Would you like to go there with me this afternoon? Great. When does the shop close? 
It closes at five o'clock. I think that's right. No, sorry, at six o'clock. Six o'clock. All right. Five. Is it easy to find? What colour is the building? It's white. It's a tall white building. OK. Come to our house first, Grandpa, and then I can help you find it. Good idea. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Jim and his father have got to take lots of different things to different places today. Where do they have to take each thing? We've got to take lots of different things to different places today, Jim. OK, Dad. We have to take this scarf to Mom's friend. It's a present. Where must we take it? Well, Mom's friend works at the hospital. We must take it to her there. Can you see the letter E? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What's in the box? It's a cup. Your grandmother doesn't want it because it's too small. Let me see. Oh, I like it. Me too. But we must take it back to the supermarket for her. It's open all day. All right. And where must we take this old comic? It was one of my favorites when I was a young boy. But now I'm giving it to the library. Why? Because Mr. Legg, who works there, wants to see it. He wants to put some of the pictures from it on their website. Cool. And can you give me that? I want to put that in our bag, too. This ticket? OK, here you are. What's it for? Is it to see a movie at the cinema? No, it's for traveling. My friend, Charlie, is waiting for it at the bus station. We must go there first. What now? Can you give me those old toothbrushes? Thanks. Mary wants them. The woman who works at the farm? That's right. They're good for cleaning things. We can buy some eggs from her, too, there. Great. Are we taking this plant, too? Yes. We must carry that carefully. Where must we take that? Is it for the cafe? They've got lots there. No. Mom grew it for Mark, the man who helps at the pool. Wow, can we go for a swim there, too? Not today, sorry. Come on, let's go. We've got lots to do. Now listen to part three again. What's in the box? It's a cup. Your grandmother doesn't want it because it's too small. Let me see. Oh, I like it. Me too. But we must take it back to the supermarket for her. It's open all day. All right. And where must we take this old comic? It was one of my favorites when I was a young boy. But now I'm giving it to the library. Why? Because Mr. Legg, who works there, wants to see it. He wants to put some of the pictures from it on their website. Cool. And
And can you give me that? I want to put that in our bag, too. This ticket? Okay, here you are. What's it for? Is it to see a movie at the cinema? No, it's for traveling. My friend, Charlie, is waiting for it at the bus station. We must go there first. What now? Can you give me those old toothbrushes? Thanks. Mary wants them. The woman who works at the farm? That's right. They're good for cleaning things. We can buy some eggs from her, too, there. Great. Are we taking this plant, too? Yes. We must carry that carefully. Where must we take that? Is it for the cafe? They've got lots there. No. Mom grew it for Mark, the man who helps at the pool. Wow. Can we go for a swim there, too? Not today. Sorry. Come on. Let's go. We've got lots to do. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Vicky see at the beach? I had lots of fun at the beach, Dad. Good. Did you see lots of sailing boats? No, but I saw a dolphin. Wow. And did you see the rainbow? It was beautiful. No, I didn't see that. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which are Mrs. Fields' favourite animals? Which are your favourite animals, Mrs. Field? I like kangaroos a lot, but those aren't my favourite. Do you like rabbits? Yes, but pandas are my favourite animals. Two. What is the weather like outside now? Why are you looking out of the window? I want to see the weather. It's getting better. It isn't snowing now. Good. But is it windy? Yes, very. But I can't see any clouds in the sky. Well, let's go for a walk this afternoon then. 3. What is Claire doing now? Where's Claire? She wanted to come for a ride on the new tractor. Did she? Well, she's having a shower. Why is she doing that? Because she had soccer practice. She got very dirty. Wow! 4. What is the matter with Dan? What's the matter, Dan? Have you got toothache again? Yes, Dad. I had a lot of ice cream. It was really cold. So have you got a stomachache too? No, and my ear isn't hurting today. I'm all right, don't worry. Five. What do the man and the woman both want for lunch? Let's make another big salad for lunch today. I don't want that again today. How about some noodles? I can make a nice sauce. Mmm, no. What about some onion soup? I always enjoy that. So do I. OK.
Now listen to part four again. One. Which are Mrs. Fields' favourite animals? Which are your favourite animals, Mrs. Field? I like kangaroos a lot, but those aren't my favourite. Do you like rabbits? Yes, but pandas are my favourite animals. Two. What is the weather like outside now? Why are you looking out the window? I want to see the weather. It's getting better. It isn't snowing now. Good. But is it windy? Yes, very. But I can't see any clouds in the sky. Well, let's go for a walk this afternoon then. Three. What is Claire doing now? Where's Claire? She wanted to come for a ride on the new tractor. Did she? Well, she's having a shower. Why is she doing that? Because she had soccer practice. She got very dirty. Wow. Four. What is the matter with Dan? What's the matter, Dan? Have you got toothache again? Yes, Dad. I had a lot of ice cream. It was really cold. So have you got a stomachache too? No, and my ear isn't hurting today. I'm all right. Don't worry. Five. What do the man and the woman both want for lunch? Let's make another big salad for lunch today. I don't want that again today. How about some noodles? I can make a nice sauce. Hmm. No. What about some onion soup? I always enjoy that. So do I. Okay. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. I'd like you to do some colouring in this picture. All right. I love that bear. So do I. But can you see the road? Yes. Can I colour that yellow? Good idea. Thank you. Can you see the yellow road? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now colour the map. The boy's holding it. Fine. What colour shall I make that? How about pink? Cool. I've got that color here. Brilliant. Two. Can I color something green now? Yes, you can. Color the girl's helmet. Okay. It's good to wear one of those when you're climbing a mountain, I think. Yes, because sometimes a rock falls down. Three. I'd like you to write something here, too. The plane's flying with a message about the weather. Okay. What's the weather message? It's sunny. I can see that. So, must I write sunny there? That's right.
four. Would you like to color one of the snails now? Yes. Which one? The higher one? No. The one with the bigger shell. Make it orange, please. Great. That's my favorite color. It's mine, too. Five. And can I color that leaf? The one on the tree? Yes, you can. Good. Can I make it red? Let's think. No, make it purple, please. Fine. There. Thanks for doing this. Our picture is really nice now. Now listen to part five again. One. Now color the map. The boy's holding it. Fine. What color shall I make that? How about pink? Cool. I've got that color here. Brilliant. Two. Can I color something green now? Yes, you can. Color the girl's helmet. Okay. It's good to wear one of those when you're climbing a mountain, I think. Yes, because sometimes a rock falls down. Three. I'd like you to write something here, too. The plane's flying with a message about the weather. Okay. What's the weather message? It's sunny. I can see that. So, must I write sunny there? That's right. Four. Would you like to color one of the snails now? Yes. Which one? The higher one? No. The one with the bigger shell. Make it orange, please. Great. That's my favorite color. It's mine, too. Five. And can I color that leaf? The one on the tree? Yes, you can. Good. Can I make it red? Let's think. No, make it purple, please. Fine. There. Thanks for doing this. Our picture is really nice now. That is the end of the A1 Movers Listening Test.